Hello and welcome to today's Channeled Collective Tarot and Oracle reading. This is general, but I did a little bit of investigation to see what we're going to be talking about. And it was honing in on embodying your self that has accomplished uh, a certain goal you have in mind when I just said that, uh, or when you think about the goals that you got going on, which ones are coming up as you kind of accomplishing them. There's something about that transition in between that we're going to be talking about, uh, where you can get more into the focus of embodying that authentic self that has achieved those dreams because if you have them right now like these dreams and you want so bad for it to happen know that it has happened already in the future you just need to embody that state of presence that your dream self has already embodied and mastered and through doing different things uh in a repetition kind of way repetitive and a lot more into the dedication, you're going to start to become that master, become that practitioner, if you will, where you are literally just practicing uh, this certain embodiment, this certain presence that will allow you to have those dreams come true with your own hands, with your own effort. It's like the best feeling in the world when you feel and you see that success and you know that you did that for yourself. Oh my gosh. So we're starting out with, I don't have to fear my fear. I can use it as a way to get closer to love. This is very, very, very much so dealing with the doubting yourself when you don't see those results right away. Allowing yourself... Um, I'm getting something about allowing yourself to trust the unknown, to uh, trust uh, the patient embodiment that allows you to not use so much energy as well. I'm getting that you have a tendency to be not saying that you are, okay, but like a little hamster on the wheel and you just go and you go and go. You're so excited. You want to work so hard at these dreams and you're like the more I work the faster I work the closer the dream is going to get to being succeeded what I am getting though is that there is a tendency to be a bit too over exerting your excitement and it's kind of it's I'm getting something about right now needing to take a step back in places where you're really excited um, and allowing yourself to kind of refresh with what is happening for you in terms of how much it's taking from you or how much you're giving in terms of this goal um, or this dream. And something about that excitement that you feel and you continuing to move because of that excitement or be motivated by that excitement with your actions is burning you out when it comes to the long run, um, the sustainable kind of amount of energy you need for this dream or goal to become reality for you. So there's something about right now what I'm getting is that in terms of patience, it's about, for you specifically, trusting yourself when it comes to those days when you know you can't exert so much energy um, or even how you, like, it's like I'm getting, like, your ego is encouraging you to be this sort of way or to, like, look at your dreams or act on your dreams in this certain way, but it's kind of like you're not capable that day to be that emphasized on, let's say, the creative part of the dream. Um, it might be a day to be more of the 
needing to release in terms of focusing on other things and bringing back your focus on what really you need to right now. Um, because I'm getting also, I know I have other cards, I'll get there, but what I'm also getting, and then I'll get to the other cards, is that um, there's something about, I'm getting like taking a lot of many steps where if you allow yourself to just patiently wait and build with this step, you're not going to need to take so many tiny steps because with like within this big step, if you're patient, you're going to be able to take those tiny steps without needing to take those tiny steps, if that makes sense. Um, because it's kind of like with taking those tiny steps, you're more at the, you don't know as much compared to if you allow yourself to wait and process you would know a lot more which I'm getting it's kind of like someone who's shorter I'm 5'2 you know um and someone who's like 6'2 so for me it's very common to be around very tall people but someone who's tall doesn't need to take so many steps for their stride uh because their legs are long. So what I'm getting is that the more patient you are with yourself as you go through this process, the less steps you have to take in terms of exerting yourself um, so that you don't need to burn out or burn out so quickly and you can have a bit more of an enjoyable time through the process of the kind of hard the, the process of trial and error, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Because it is like, you know, you go a couple of steps, you might get some errors. Um, but learning how to encourage yourself to keep moving forward, even though you might mess up, is something that is coming forth as well. We have, my true safety lies in my capacity to align with the love of the universe. So another thing to bring your focus to um, and ask yourself right now, I would say before you do anything is just see where you're at right now, but where are you with love in terms of love for all? Um, because I'm getting this whole kind of chicken and the egg kind of philosophy. What came first, the chicken or the egg? But in this turn, for you, I'm getting that um, you are like a huge part of the universe, right? Because it is your universe. At the same time, everyone else is riding the same boat, okay? We're all in our own universes, but we're all in a very unionized big old boat, okay? So we're like, imagine like we're in this big boat, okay? But for some reason, this big boat has water in it. So we're all in these tiny little boats. They're like bumper boats, you know, bumper cars like that. But imagine that this boat is also on water and the water is just life. So we're all together going through and bumping into each other, but like we're also together on this big old boat riding life out. You know what I mean? So it's kind of something about needing to figure out for yourself what the embodiment of love, I guess, like within the universe, and that would be within you too, um, Finding somehow to figure out what that embodiment feels like for you. Because I'm getting that's a very useful embodiment when it comes to the manifestation process of your dreams becoming reality. Um, the more that you can act with this love of the universe, love of yourself, the more that embodiment outside of you will start to attract to you. Um, yeah. So when I merge my desire with faith, I can take action from a place of peace rather than control. That's nice. <laughs> That's nice. 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh, Leia. I got a cat wanting to come in. We'll get there. We'll get there. Um, yeah, I mean, this just reminds me of fluidity, allowing what comes, come, allowing what needs to leave, leave. I also am getting this feeling of resistance when it comes to wanting to prove something about the results of what you received in the past. I don't know, but it, for some reason I keep hearing with others, with others, with others. You know, other people do have a huge part to play with your dreams uh, in, in terms of your dreams. They can also play with your dreams if you let them. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, but like for real though, for realsies though, I know I was joking, but like I do wonder if there's some type of influence outside of you when it comes to other people where it's like your dreams for some reason are, you know, I'm going to be, tr I'm bit take it with a grain of salt when I say this, but it's like your dreams are on a lower pedestal than like people's opinion. Like people's opinion is up here for some reason. I'm getting this feeling. And for some reason you have been uh, conditioned to believe that your dreams are not as like important as these people's opinions, I guess, when it comes of your dreams. Um, so there's something to do with allowing yourself to see without that interference. So I'm getting that there's needing to be that releasing of even within other people's beliefs and what that means to you and your dreams. Uh, yeah, because I'm getting that it's kind of like something about needing to do this with a way of not judging yourself with a way of just allowing the truth to come out um and it might not be exactly about people in their opinion but there's something about outside of you kind of like controlling how much like excitement and I'm getting that this excitement also comes from inner child excitement and there's something about needing to release it needing to allow yourself to see you and only you in this kind of thing because it is I'm getting that other people outside of you kind of like it's like they have these kind of strings or cords, you know, energetic cords. And it's like they're taking your energy that can be put into your dreams. And they're taking it for their own. Like they're mooching off of you. It's not uncommon. It's not uncommon. But the way to stop that is to release and figure out, and this is about you needing to go inside of yourself, <laughs> not physically, but like spiritually, mentally, emotionally, um, what you can control in your reality. There's this really cool post that I saw on social media, and it was about what you can control and what you cannot control. I don't think I can put on the screen. All right, I apologize. But if you want to look that up, it's so useful for you to just understand that when it comes to other people and what they have to say about you, it's extra baggage, extra luggage that you would have to pay for the airplane to take that to wherever you want to go and you find out that you don't even want it. Release it. Ha! <laughs> there is plenty for everyone, including me. The ocean of life is lavish with its abundance. All my needs and my desires are met before I even ask. My good comes from everywhere and everyone and everything. When reading this, I was like, you deserve to live your dreams. However it is that comes up for you. 
and there's something about when it comes up I'm kidding it's kind of like you feel like you don't have a right to have your dreams be authentically for yourself because something about you feeling like you don't have an important place in this world and let me just say you do you have such an important place in this world because it is your world because you are the master of your own creations literally any second millisecond in the future you can decide to take control and take back your story because you deserve it you do so much amazing work like to be a human being is to just breathe to eat to sleep and when it comes to judging it is uh it's very interesting how we go about it um because it's a lot of times taking apart yourself instead of strengthening yourself your characteristics your authenticity the very qualities that would make your life like your own so it's really important i'm getting to really allow yourself to honor your authenticity to love those parts of you like the airplane method before anyone else um because also the other thing is when you give love to others is especially if it's like love that's like love about appreciating yourself you'll be giving that kind of love for others and they in return uh, might be able to appreciate themselves as well and for me I love when I see other people appreciating themselves and their authenticity like I could cry but let's continue reading <laughs> So my income is constantly increasing. I begin now today to open myself to every ever increasing prosperity. So when I was saying a little bit before with, um, you know, any like second, any millisecond in the future, you can decide to take control. This is kind of what it's talking about, allowing yourself to believe that you are the captain of your own ship. This is not Titanic, okay? The, the ship is not sinking, okay? Even if it is, miraculously, this ship somehow is not sinking anymore. Somehow it's gone up to the top of the ocean and it's, you know, you can breathe again. You are above the ocean, the water. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, because I'm getting that, like, it's like this kind of interesting quote of amongst the storm of your day like amongst the chaos okay the eye of the storm okay don't rem don't forget about this you are the eye of your storm so you can choose in terms of especially if you feel other people's opinions are le like making you feel less than in an authentic way. Remember, you are the one in control. So you can release that tie that ties you to that kind of person, that ties you to that belief. And when you do this, it's an act of appreciating yourself. It's an act of honoring yourself because you know that tie is not good for you in the long run, in the self-sustaining long run. And you know yourself best, okay? I know you can go to other people, you can get advice here and there, but you will figure out the gold within that California gold rush. You're gonna find that gold and it's gonna be in the river the river of you and that river starts within okay yeah we're getting all cheesy and everything everyone but like for realsies you are so incredible in the minute that you allow yourself to take control of your life your story and you say you know what f you to anyone who is opposing you defying you saying like you can't be authentic you can't be yourself you say to whoever it is you say whatever say that and then 
turn around turn your back on them and say walk away you know walk away separate because you are so incredible in your authentic authenticity and this life really is needing that life <laughs> like right now you know we really do need a lot more authenticity to come out because that's what is natural for us it is natural for us to be authentic it is hard <laughs> to be yourself when a lot of uh you being yourself is contradicting these other people's opinions like whatever you are not living my life i am living my life i'm going to take back the i don't know steering wheel of my ship push whoever's aside with love of course and respect and say this is my time right now and take it over i am flexible and flowing so this, oh, I am open to the new and changing. Every moment presents a wonderful new opportunity to become more of who I am. I flow with life easily and effortlessly. Okay, now let me begin. So this is an, a very, very much so perfect representation of what to do once you take over the wheel of your ship. Now, do I know how to drive a ship? No. Am I saying the correct terminology of it? Probably not. I live in Nebraska, so the closest ocean to me or the closest body of water is a man-made lake. It's not the ocean. I wish I had an ocean. I wish I had a boat. I am made for the water. This is not about me. Let's get back to you. So I am flexible and flowing. When you are taking control of your story, when you are when you are taking control of your ship this is also where you need to be aware of when you start to embody the emotion of fear okay fear is something that is a very very uh very tricky emotion to get to know um especially because there's a lot to it we don't know. And when we don't know, it brings up even more fear. It's like, it's, <laughs> you know, I, I don't know. Like, the more that you don't know, the more that fear kind of puts into these kind of fake truths. And what I'm getting is that when it comes to, like, in the future, okay, when you take over... When it comes to fear kind of arising as you move through the newness of controlling kind of your ship again, controlling your story, uh, this also means that you're going to need to release the focus like with fear, release fear and allow yourself to focus on love in replace of it. Um, and so when you release fear, if you're like, okay, I'm ready to release fear. I don't know how to. Here's a couple different ways that I like to release fear. I love to become aware of my breathing and stop thinking. It is so beautiful. I think so much. But I allow myself to be a bit more on the responsible side and just even when like my thoughts are starting to come into play, allowing myself to just uh, kind of take control and say, okay, I'm not going to think anymore. And so, uh, I don't know, through practice, of course, um, I start to become more aware of my breathing. And this allows me to become more present, more grounded in my focus, okay? Because the focus is going to be connected to your thinking, so if you are constantly thinking still and you allow yourself to like focus on your thoughts, it's going to be really hard for you to focus on your breathing. And so that's why it's really important to be mature about kind of like, okay, I can release my focus of thoughts. And so once you do that, then you can focus on your breathing then you can allow yourself to tune into the state of feeling that you are 
you are embodying and your feeling and your emotion are going to be, I don't know if they're the same or similar vibe um, or a similar connection, but that's where you're going to be able to understand if you do truly feel the state of fear. Um, because once you allow yourself to recognize the embodiment that you feel in whatever present moment you are in, that is when you can decide, do I want to release this or do I want to hold it a little longer? Um, and so once you decide to do either, you will then kind of make that decision and you have made a decision as the captain of your ship, as the writer to your own story, as the master to your own manifestation. Um, and so... Okay, here's the other thing. When you act with this certain embodiment, you will also get that attraction of whatever it is you're embodying. So this is why it's awesome to release that fear and to allow space to embody or realign with love. And in return, you're going to receive love from outside of you as a reflection of the hard work of releasing and renewing. Um, yeah, it's such a cool process, but let me tell you, it takes time. It, it, it's, you know, as human beings, we take time to evolve. So it's not going to be a jump, a skip, and a step, and then you're there. It's going to be jump, skip, step, fall down, jump, skip, step, fall down, and then, you know, you're going to get your kind of like, you're going to test yourself. You're going to ask yourself, is it really worth it? Is this dream really worth it? And you know what? It is so worth it. It is so worth it because it's for you. Ah, like it's your future self sending you these cool messages through like, I don't know, dreaming, you know, why not? Like your future self is like, hey, you really want this to happen because they know since they already experienced it happening. Whoa! I settle my worries with reassurance in what I've grown already. Okay, so this could be another great way for you to remind yourself in those moments when you're kind of doubting, is it worth it? Show yourself how far you have come, how much you have grown um, in essence of your garden. Life is a garden, okay? You are given a garden from the minute you are born to the minute you are dead, <laughs> okay? And it's kind of like you are given the knowledge of how to grow your garden in the way that's like your garden, but it's also about knowing what is for you and knowing what isn't for you. Um, and knowing that everything that happens, okay, everything that you have embodied is part of your story. It is to show you that you are a strong, capable, individual human being, worthy, and you, oh, you, are, you are so worthy of living your life the way you want to live it. It's really hard, though. It's really hard. It's a challenge, but even in the word impossible, it is, I'm possible. I am possible. Okay. So you can do it, my friend. I believe in you. For all the naysayers that come your way, you say, hey, 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 I walk away. I don't need this because I'm okay by myself because that's all I need. I need me first and foremost. And if this is not me, then I don't need it. Bye. Anyway, I'm going to go. I'll see you later. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this has supported you on your journey. Help you understand what to focus on if you want to focus on it. Okay. <laughs> Bye.